11 species of invasive vines. Algerian ivy can spread quickly throughout your garden if it is given the chance. It is very easy to start from cuttings and roots will be formed along the stem where it touches the soil. The roots, like English ivy, hetera helix, can attach themselves to buildings and tree trunks also. Even though the wisterias are rather gorgeous when in full bloom, they tend to become invasive. It has the ability to form new roots at each node and will do so wherever it touches the ground, allowing it to spread further. Try the Native American wisteria, wisteria frutescens, instead for better control. You'll usually see winter creeper used as a ground cover in the landscape. This has both juvenile, vine, and mature, shrub forms similar to ivy, as well as the habit of using rootlets to climb up trunks and walls. These two plants are in different families, though. Like Algerian ivy, English ivy can be used as a ground cover, especially in shady locations. Put it too close to a building, though, and it will soon scramble to cover it by attaching its stems to the wall with rootlets. It can also wind its way up a tree trunk easily. Though the five-leaf acabia has pretty flowers and fruit, it will overtake your garden if you are not careful, especially since you should plant more than one if you are trying to ensure pollination. Many of the honeysuckles can become invasive and the Japanese honeysuckle is no exception. The flowers are beautiful and smell like vanilla, bringing bees and hummingbirds to your garden. Birds will also come to visit and eat the fruit. The Japanese wisteria does not flower as well as Chinese wisteria does, but is similarly invasive. A distinguishing characteristic is that the blooms gradually open from the base onward. On Chinese wisteria, they will all open at the same time. One way to control spreading is deadheading so no seeds are created. Kudzu is a poster child for why you should be careful in importing plants. This semi-woody vine was brought to the United States and introduced to farmers as a potential forage crop and erosion controller. They were encouraged to plant it until people realized that it took over everywhere and smothered the plants they actually wanted. It is now widespread throughout the southeastern U.S. This vine wraps itself around trees and can cause their eventual demise. As with many invasive plants, it was originally introduced to the United States because of its potential benefits. For Oriental Bittersweet, it was the fact that it helps keep soil erosion to a minimum. Unfortunately, it took readily to some U.S. climates and spread like wildfire. In addition to being quite invasive, poison ivy is toxic for many people, as are many members of the cashew family. They contain a substance known as urushiol. These vines may grow into a shrub shape. Porcelain berries come in unusual shades of purple and turquoise, making them an attractive plant for fall color especially. You will need to give them some sort of support. They do spread easily, so check with your extension office to see if it is invasive in your area. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.